ate the asshole, told Sil she and I are on the same boat after she told me I will suffer in the afterlife. I, 24 F, was pregnant. Got an abortion. Had been on the receiving end of passive-aggressive comments from Sil, 29 F, because of it. I had explained why my boyfriend and I decided not to keep it to her many times. We're not financially stable as we're both doing our PGs, definitely not ready to parent and since we're in the middle of a pandemic, it's not the brightest of ideas. Had dinner at SIL's house. During grace, one of her prayers was that she hoped I would be forgiven for my major sin. Didn't say anything and just ate my food. As brother-in-law and boyfriend were cleaning up, we were watching TV. She brought up the prayer and hoped I wasn't offended, I told her wasn't. She said she's just sad that I may not get redemption and will have to suffer in the afterlife because of my choice. I didn't engage with her the previous times she's brought up my abortion but I didn't want to talk about it anymore and wanted her hop of my dick about it. Told her that we're on the same boat since she cheated on her husband a year ago. Her affair caused a bit of drama and Syl had to sleep at our apartment during those times as boyfriend as her brother. She had said it was due to infertility stress, and that she was desperate for a baby at the time. Never held it against her because it wasn't my business nor did it affect me. But felt like I went too far once she told me to get out. Didn't argue and got up to wait in the car for my BF. Boyfriend came out minutes later to tell me he knew she was a bit much but I didn't have to bring her infidelity, because we saw firsthand how sorry she was and that it wasn't any of our business. I told him the abortion wasn't her business either. I'm thinking we were both assholes, but I don't want to apologize until she apologizes for her comments. Boyfriend tells me I'm petty and this is just for my pride since I did not bond with the baby and was the first to suggest abortion, so I shouldn't take her comments seriously. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Also, stop explaining yourself. You don't owe your sill an explanation and you don't need her approval, so stop acting as if you do. If she tries to bring it up, it's your boyfriend's job to say, this isn't any of your business. Stop. If she insists on bringing it up, leave the room or the house. Also, what does your pride have to do with it? What is your boyfriend babbling about? He needs to grow up and take responsibility. Not the asshole but your boyfriend sure is for thinking sister can bring up the abortion but you can't bring up her cheating ass. Honestly not the asshole. I get the ESH comments but I hate hypocrites so much. Your abortion is none of her business and her attempt to guilt you and saying this shit is pathetic. I would have 100% said the same thing tbh. I feel like this is more of a justified asshole moment to that's why I'm going not the asshole. Not the asshole your sill is and so is your boyfriend for not standing up to his sister. Trade in the boyfriend and you don't have to deal with the sill anymore. Not the asshole. These hypocritical religious thumpers are insufferable. They use religion as a shield to hide behind as an excuse to get in your face about their personal opinions. It makes them feel smug and superior to tell you all the ways you're going to hell while they skip along and do whatever they feel like. But don't you dare judge them because they're beyond being held to the same standards they hold others to for some reason. I don't know how you even made it through dinner, tbh. I'd be severely limiting my contact with her if I were you. I would have countered with a prayer of my own. Dear God, please forgive my slutty wanton harlot of a sister-in-law for the sin of adultery, for wrapping her legs around the waist of a man not her husband, for sinfully, lustfully taking this man's organ of reproduction into her shameless, Jezebel mouth and essentially a prayer that turns into a letter to penthouse. I mean. I feel like I should say everyone sucks here but really I have to go with not the asshole. What she did was super shitty and she wouldn't let it go. So you lashed out. Might not have been the best choice you could have made but an understandable one and one I probably would have made myself after being attacked like that. I know that decision weighed heavily on you and I'm sorry you had to go through it. On a side note. Do you think maybe she's so salty and petty about it because she's had fertility issues and you had an abortion? Might be a sore spot and just caused her to act like an ass. Not the asshole. It and not her place to judge you at all and her, prayer, was clearly inappropriate. She wanted to get a reaction out of you, which is why she brought it up again. I think she might be, hurt, 
because she has infertility problems, but this doesn't justify her lashing out. I also find people incredibly annoying, who feel like they are in a position to judge others, while they themselves have sinned, in regards to their own beliefs. Your boyfriend is a wet towel. Not the asshole. After multiple uncalled for jabs you finally let her know about her hypocrisy. Honestly I would have lost my shit way sooner. Although while she sounds like a terrible person, you really need to consider throwing your boyfriend away. Not only did he stay silent during all of this about a decision that you made together, not just you but he also basically joined in on it when you had the gall to finally stick up for yourself. With the way she sounds I doubt she'll ever get over any of this, and he sounds like he resents you for the decision y'all made. I hope you really give thought to whether you want to stay in a relationship like this. Not the asshole. She seems like the type to berate you for accidentally spilling soup on a waiter right after purposely tripping an old lady. Let her have it. Up. Not the asshole she shouldn't give it out if she can't take it. Boyfriend tells me I'm petty and this is just for my pride since I did not bond with the baby and was the first to suggest abortion. He's the asshole as well. Abortion is not going to send you to hell. We don't even know if hell exists. What we do know is that you are not in a position to have a baby, and that is your decision alone to make. You are not petty, you are rightfully annoyed. However Syl was in a position to cheat and she did so, which in my eyes makes her choice worse. Not the asshole, she doesn't deserve an apology. Hasn't she heard about letting those without sin cast the first stone? What a pompous blowhard. I hope your boyfriend is responding to her by saying she owes you an apology and to never mention your private medical decisions again. Next dinner offer to say grace. Please forgive Syl for committing adultery. Amen. Boyfriend tells me I'm petty and this is just for my pride since I did not bond with the baby and was the first to suggest abortion. Not the asshole and I'd seriously wonder if your boyfriend has been telling her you 100% wanted this and it wasn't his idea it seems like she's being extra aggressive about it for a reason and I wouldn't be surprised if he's telling her a totally different story which would also be why he wants it to be over so quickly. Not the asshole. Your sill was purposefully trying to attack you. She tried to get a rise out of you multiple times. She's jealous because you were able to get pregnant and she can't. She's excusing her cheating and her vicious attacks on you with her infertility. That's not an excuse for being an asshole. Even if you did go through with the pregnancy that baby would never be her baby. Maybe she's pissed you didn't endure nine months of torture and the worst pain of your life to hand her what she wanted. Perhaps she felt your pregnancy should belong to her since you didn't want it and she can't have a baby. Maybe she expected you to hand her a baby or maybe she's just pissed off at life in general. Either way your abortion and family planning is none of her business. Not the asshole. Don't dish it out if you can't handle it in return. Info. Why are you sharing your business with other people who clearly aren't on your team so to speak? I assume her views didn't show up yesterday. I'd say ESH but with a strong leaning towards not the asshole. She doesn't get to be high and mighty about your choices, when she's made, sinful, choices too. And from how I read it, you weren't being malicious in how you said it. Not the asshole. Talk about using your religion to punish other people. Not to mention, hypocrisy. I personally don't think it was wrong to bring up her infidelity. Oh my, didn't she have good excuses for that major sin? They always do, but here's a better idea. Don't share things like abortions with family and friends. You never know who is going to turn on you. Anytime the subject comes up of my religious beliefs, I gaily admit that I plan on going to hell, because that's where all my friends will be. Not the asshole she shouldn't act so high and mighty. Not the asshole there's only so much you can take. But she didn't need to know in the first place. Personal things like so should be kept between you and other half in my opinion purely so these uncomfortable conversations don't keep popping up by someone whose business it isn't. But I would be just as petty if it kept being bought up especially if it's a decision you didn't take lightly. Not the asshole she was being a huge jerk to you and you gave her a taste of her own medicine. Don't apologize. It's not necessary. Not the asshole. If she can bring up your abortion, you sure as hell can bring up her infidelity. If you dish, you should learn to take as well. 
Not the asshole granted both of you could have been more mature during the course of the evening but you're allowed to hit back when you get hit. I love how religious people justify their own sins but hold everyone else at a higher standard. Sorry but Sil is the biggest asshole here. You are not the asshole and there's no reason to apologize. She's the epitome of hypocrisy. And now her feelings hurt you called her out but had no problem calling you out. While I'm certain she's so bent out of shape because she can't have kids of her own and you just willingly got rid of yours, that gives her no right to be offended when she gets a taste of her own medicine. Boyfriend is an ass for not sticking up for you. You're his family, his alliance is to you. Not the asshole, not at all. She had it coming. Not the asshole, these people, including your boyfriend, are nuts. Not the asshole adultery is actually mentioned as a sin in the Bible, abortion is not. She's the only asshole here, she wants to be preachy and shit but the tone changed real fast when you brought up her own sins. I hope your boyfriend took your side. Take inventory. Does your boyfriend usually take other people's sides during disagreements? Does he usually cave in to family pressures? Does he make you think you are wrong usually? If the answer is yes, you might want to consider that he isn't for you. By the way, you don't have to be ashamed that you had an abortion but it isn't usually for public dissemination, either. Who thought it was a good idea to tell his family? Edit. Autocorrect typo. Since I did not bond with the baby. Sorry, it sounds like your boyfriend is an asshole too. It sounds like he's holding your abortion against you. Even though it sounds like you had an abortion at a very early stage where there was no baby to bond with. You're not the asshole. Your boyfriend is for sharing your abortion story with his sister who has fertility issues and for holding your abortion against you. Your sill is also an asshole because she keeps poking at you, trying to make you feel bad and small. Not the asshole. Many people have told you why you are not. But I just want to say your boyfriend is included in my judgment. I think he is being an asshole. You initially did not want to tell Sil about this private medical procedure to your own body. But because your boyfriend is close with her, she deserves to know? That's some bullshit right there. He is part of the problem. If someone dared to bring up my partner's private medical procedure in a prayer before we ate dinner I would be the one bringing up her infidelity in front of everyone. That is so disrespectful and I'm surprised you were so chill about it. Boyfriend needs to get his head out of his ass and step up for you. And Sil needs to mind her own business. A bit much. Get the fuck out of here. Don't apologize. Not the asshole I'm sorry. Why does she know about your abortion at all? This family sounds a bit much. Not the asshole. What's that saying? Don't throw stones when you live in a glass house? Not the asshole. Don't dish what you can't take. Shoot your boyfriend down with her if he refuses to stand up to her. He got you pregnant out of wedlock, why isn't he receiving her wrath? She wants to have some moral high ground over others. She better be a moral and high value person through and through and lead by example, which she isn't and hasn't. Even her passive aggressive comments show that she's full of it. There's nothing pious in her behavior or speech, let's make that clear. Not the asshole. Good for you for standing up for yourself and calling out her hypocrisy. I grew up surrounded by the insufferably religious types, and while they would argue with me, they had a harder time arguing with Jesus. So if she needs a scriptural source to accept that you are right, refer Sil to the parable of the moat and beam, Mark chapter 7 verse 5. Not the asshole. You don't mention if Sil has since had a child, but it appears that she's angry that she had been trying to get pregnant but couldn't, while you were able to and terminated it. That's what cruxed of what's going on here. She's taking her anger and jealousy out on you. She needs to knock it off. You're absolutely right that your abortion is none of her business. Perhaps start going low contact. Also our just no Sil might be of help on how to handle this. Not the asshole she's being hypocritical. The last time I checked infidelity is supposed to be a major sin too. If she can't take it, she shouldn't dish it. Do not apologize and tell your boyfriend to grow a spine and tell her the subject is closed but if starts again, then you will too. Everyone sucks here except you op. Your sill is a major asshole and hypocritical. No one likes a holier-than-thou attitude on anyone.
Your boyfriend and brother-in-law are also asshole for letting her act like that as if it's perfectly fine to mention someone's abortion at all especially in a, you're going to hell, comment. Your boyfriend is even more of an asshole because he is basically saying you should allow others to treat you like crap. Then heavily implying you deserve it for getting rid of the baby even though it was a mutual choice between the two of you. Burn all these rickety bridges. Not the asshole. Let he who is without sin. Don't dish what you what you can't take. Good for you for standing up to her. Not the asshole. Why is your boyfriend letting his sister speak to you like that? This is literally the expression. Let he who is without sin cast the first stone. Like your sister needs to back the fuck up. And stop judging you. And if she wants to get all high and mighty and bring religion into it. She broke one of the ten commandments. You didn't. Not the asshole. I would say to your sister-in-law, abortion is not mentioned anywhere in the Bible, but not committing adultery is one of God's Ten Commandments, so if any of us facing eternal damnation, it is you, you holier than thou expletive redacted. Also, let he who is without sin cast the first stone. And like others have said, your boyfriend should stand up for you. In the Bible, the punishment for infidelity is death. There was no punishment for having an abortion. The only time the termination of a pregnancy is talked about is when someone else purposefully injures a pregnant woman to cause termination, and even then the punishment is a fine paid to the woman. Not the asshole, I would have said the same exact thing. Not the asshole, but your boyfriend is for not sticking up for you. Hold up, so now your boyfriend is giving you shit for the abortion too? Not the asshole, you need to sit and have a chat with him. Not the asshole. I feel like this should be an ESH but honestly. I think she deserved what she got. Your choices are yours, and hers are hers, and if she wants to be a judgmental witch about yours, well, turnabout is fair play. Not the asshole. Your sill is, and your boyfriend is. Sounds like she's jealous you got pregnant when she can't, and he sounds resentful that you didn't want to keep the baby. Dump them both, they're judgmental trash. I'm sorry, but she likes to lord it over you and, for lack of a better phrase, air your dirty laundry out in front of the family but can't take it when you do the same to her? You accepted enough of her BS, and you just gave her a taste of her own medicine. There are many phrases for this. Pot calling the kettle black. Throwing stones in a glass house. Don't dish it out if you can't take it etc etc. She's a hypocrite and you're not the asshole. Stick to your guns and don't apologize.